Rule 37 of the Council's Provisional Rules of... I'm happy to report that on the 18th of June, the transitional government of Mali and armed groups in the northern regions, particularly the MNLA and Au Conseil pour l'Unité de la Zawad, signed a preliminary agreement on the presidential elections and inclusive negotiations. Although a first and a preliminary step, I think the agreement is critical, not only because of the forthcoming elections, but also because it commits the parties to a post-electoral inclusive dialogue. And for it to be successful, the dialogue we need to be comprehensive, I said inclusive, and tackle the root causes of the recurrent crisis in, in Mali. Si le Conseil confirme aujourd'hui que les conditions de sécurité qui prévalent dans les zones de responsabilité de la mission multidimensionnelle intégrée des Nations Unies pour la stabilisation au Mali permettent un transfert d'autorité de la MISMA à la MINUSMA le 1er juillet, cette dernière deviendra à terme la troisième plus grande opération de maintien de la paix des Nations Unies. MINUSMA mission support is simultaneously engaged in two other complex endeavors, preparations for the presidential elections, the first round of which takes place on the 28th of July, and follow-up to the interim agreement signed in Ouagadougou last week. This would be a formidable triple challenge in any context, but one that is complicated by several features of the operating environment in Mali, and specifically in northern Mali. La cessation des combats de grandes envergures aux abords des principales agglomérations du nord, la mise en déroute des groupes armés et la réduction drastique de leurs capacités de nuisance grâce aux efforts conjugués des forces armées maliennes, africaines et françaises constituent autant d'indicateurs favorables au transfert des compétences de la MISMA à la MINUSMA dans le délai imparti par la résolution 2100.